The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the World Heavyweight Champion from Washington, D.C., weighing 317 pounds, Batista. so far, but that's just because his opponents really let him psych him out. He can't back down from a dude like the Diesel. I don't think, I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the life. Oh boy, looks like someone's moving up in the world. He can talk all he wants, Cole, but once he's lost the match, this guy's gonna wish that he spent more time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. He anticipated that move perfectly. And there's the reversal. I wonder how JBL's going to try to cheat his way to victory here tonight, Taz. You're out of line, Cole. And you probably don't want uh, uh, to slander a guy who's got as many lawyers as JBL's got either. It's not slander if it's true, Taz. And if JBL wants to make an issue of it, I'm sure I can come up with plenty of evidence to support what I say. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counted you like that. What a reversal. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. There is no doubt that Batista made a hell of an impact on Raw, Cole. But now that he doesn't have Triple H or Rick Flip, we've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, no, that's not going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. I got to tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is going to end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen. He's going for the submission. And he might get it. He's got that hole locked in. What a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. It's better to give than receive. every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to see. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Cole? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on the line night after night. He does it because he's a man of the people. Oh, please. He does it because the rush he gets from performing for thousands of WWE fans is something that money can't buy. JBL's on an ego trip. It's as simple as that. That's a disgusting thing to say, Cole. I'm ashamed to be associated with you. 
JBL is a humanitarian. He's a regular, uh, what do you call it, a uh, philanthropist. He's like a Rockefeller in the wrestling trucks. Well, if you're done trying to get yourself written into his... He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression. Whether I agree with what they're saying, there's a dude with guts. He's top rope moves on this Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating. What a cowardly move. He can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw his opponent out of victory. Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with doing whatever it takes to win the match. If it was that bad, the ref would have DQ'd him, right? That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar's like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to fight it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is a... Look at him. He's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. Yeah, well, he looks a little overconfident to me, Cole. And that could come back to bite him on a you-know-what. Wow, listen to... There's the reversal, Cole. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. Okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why do you quit showing off and get down to business here? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? <laughs> you talk about raw power. You talk about intensity. Have you ever seen a superstar like Batista? Hey, this old guy's a very impressive dude, no question. But let's not get too crowded away here. It's not like he's the biggest and baddest guy ever to step foot in a WWE ring, Cole, you know what I mean? You say that, Taz, but no one else comes to mind. You've got to be pretty big and pretty bad to pin Triple H for the World Heavyweight title. And that's exactly what Batista did at WrestleMania 21. Hey, look, anybody can have a really good night, you know what I'm saying, Cole? That doesn't make you the greatest superstar in the world of all time. And come on, let's face it, I think Batista's a little bit overrated. And I think we're going to see that here tonight. If I was a gambling man, I'd take that bet, Taz. I don't mind admitting that I'm all Batista. And I know... And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. You know what? Who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of the show. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure you can spare it, Cole? He likes fighting dirt, and it's easy to see why. He's pretty good at it. He certainly is, and I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. Himself, he tells you exactly what he's going to do, and he goes right out there and he does it. Yeah, JBL talks a great game, Taz, but when it comes time to put up or shut up, it seems like he always gets someone else to do his dirty work for him. Come on, girl pants. I think we're forgetting that JBL held a WWE title for nine months. That's right, nine months, and what a title reign it was. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. 
You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Kaz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the soup. Watch out! Right into the announce table. And look at the way he's got that monitor cable wrapped tight around his throat. That's a vicious choke right there. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got a minute and kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. Smart strategy, using the ring steps like that. Strategy or brutality? I don't know which. By the way, he's looking good after that move. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying, Taz. He set his opponent up for something. A vicious chop to the chest. That one echoed off the walls of the arena. This has been a great match so far. And I think it's... I don't even know how he can still stand after taking so much physical abuse. I don't think this is going to last much longer. into the table, over and over again. And that is not the position you want to be in at this point in a match like this. These superstars give everything they got in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Cole, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what you're doing. Man, I can't tell you how impressed I am with what I've seen here tonight so far. How could you not be impressed, man? These are some of the greatest superstars in the world doing what they do best. Hey, slow down, girl pants. I went into this expecting a good match. I'm just saying it's even better than I thought it would be. I know exactly what you mean. These superstars certainly are pulling out all the stops. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But well, what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a battle strike move just because you want to stay on offense, that can have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Cole. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the support conditioning of the WWE Super... I guess the ring wasn't big enough for these superstars. Of course it is. But you gotta love this kind of fight. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. You know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? 
That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never compete. There it is, Cole. Blood in the water. The end is near. How can you sound so excited, Taz? These are human beings in the ring, for God's sake. Correction, Cole. These are WWE superstars. And sometimes, this is what you do to win a match. Oh, man. Now they're mixing it up. In the crowd to boot. This is insane. Yeah, something tells me this is going to get ugly. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher, doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you can. That's why foreign objects are a superstar's best friend. Well, I guess that depends on which end of the object you're on. Man, you talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Paul, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. I think he may be looking to put his opponent away here. Oh, man. Look out below. What a huge power bomb. Whoa. I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right, Taz. They paid for their tickets, after all. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Paul. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic. What an impact! That's going to do some damage. You're not kidding, Paul. That's gotta hurt my hell. Oh my! That's going to do some serious damage if someone doesn't stop this. And who in their right mind would try to do that? I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit, Cole. This is a great match, and the fans are way into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans... Oh, my God! What a chair shot! Yeah, and that don't pick her. Believe me, young lady. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he used it for, and that's all that really matters. Well, I think this one's pretty much a four-count conclusion. Through the table, his opponent's in no shape to stop him now. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hand. Looks like he's gonna work over that arm a bit. And he's using the ring post to do it. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their mind, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. I don't think this is just a match anymore, Cole. This is getting personal. Well, what do you expect? They've been beating the hell out of each other all match. Yeah, but it's more than that, Cole. I don't think they look at each other the same way after this one. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure they have it, Cole. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can forget about it. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability. 
happier time. What do you expect, Paul? He's a WWE superstar for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturb you. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. been looking forward to this match all night long, Paul. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. This capacity crowd is on its feet. It knows what's coming. There it comes. Batista Bond. That'll break every bone in your body, Paul. There's the pin. Can his opponent oh. kick out? Peace out.